The Page One in Google series takes a step-by-step -step approach to producing successful websites, starting with the often misunderstood subject of marketing. A knowledge of basic marketing practices arms website producers so they can identify and overcome search engine barriers. Every website producer, designer, developer and search engine specialist needs to know what marketing does. Marketing defines the practice of supplying something to customers that return. To do that, marketing architects must create design. According to netcraft.com, there were over 357 million responding websites during July 2011. All but a few of these were produced by building a website based upon a design, then adding content. They are not based upon a story, a hidden or direct message with purpose and meaning. Desire uses a story. Seduction needs a story. Chanel 5 represents quality, love, luxury, desire. How does Chanel do that at a distance, via visual media, when audience can neither smell the perfume nor touch the product? Turning a scented liquid into a brand of desire, a concept of seduction and a product of quality, requires well-prepared marketing to a selective and critical audience. Only then can quality retain audience, what marketing science practitioners refer to as customer retention. Websites must do that too, seduce audience with desire, then keep their viewers, encourage audience to come back again. By building a website first without a story, attracting audience becomes a matter of pot luck, because desire and seduction are missing. Developers who build first represent the first barrier to page one in Google. Of course, to know who to attract by pushing desire and pulling seduction, website producers must know both their audience and the audience segment to focus upon. But who, or what, is the audience? We market to humans, don't we? Married humans, single humans, humans with kids, lonely humans, huge crowds of humans. Tall ones, short ones, thin ones and fat wobbly ones. That was the audience, not anymore. Search providers play a higher role in website marketing than humans do. Old search engines now losing ground, giant search engines like Google and search engines to come. And then there's Paul. Come on man, this is special. By multi-talented Nick Frost and Simon Pegg, the hilarious must-see Paul captures the point of view of an all-healing, weed-smoking, helpful alien with attitude. Attitude gives Paul and websites an edge, makes them different. Website producers need to entertain and seduce, something different from humans, not aliens, well, not that we know of, but something with different senses, addressing not sight, sound, smell or language, but structure and content. To do that, first become familiar with what the founders of Google exposed during 1998. Until the late 1990s, kings of the search engine world were Lycos, AltaVista and Yahoo. Then, at the USA Stanford University during 1998, Two authors published a paper with the title The Anatomy of a Large-Scale Hypertextual Web Search Engine. Those two authors, Sir Gay Brin and Larry Page, then established Google. Brin and Page's paradigm was let other pages on the web decide how a page should rank in search engine results. In other words, their philosophy was peer approval. 
To meet this paradigm, Brin and Page, in their paper, developed the Page Rank algorithm. To make their algorithm effective, the Google founders needed several simultaneous working mechanisms and calculations, now evolved into groups in use today. Software robots to gather data from websites. Domain indexing systems. Website structure indexing systems. Page indexing systems phrase search indexing systems and regional servers to store and deliver calculated results. Spiders collect regional servers deliver. It's the four bits in between both domain owners and website producers should take keen interest in. Domain analysis systems turn registration and domain prevalence data into scored indexes. Domain relevance to search engines is the most important of all SERP calculating systems. Imagine a search by someone within the USA using www.whitehouse.gov. How would that person feel if the Chinese government's website produced a higher search return? We can benefit from this knowledge. www.teething-babies.com markets the Bongella brand. The domain name matches a common search phrase. It hits page one in Google for searches from most parts of the world, for example China. It has done since I developed it during 2006. By employing the most relevant search phrase as the domain name, the site had to score highly. Critically, domain analysis systems also calculate domain prevalence via Brin and Page's page rank algorithm. As more sites provide inbound links to a domain, its search engine credibility grows in accord with the rank of the site providing the link. Page analysis systems turn content into scored indexes. Like the hierarchy of a website as a whole, a website page has a hierarchy that search engines can analyse and score according to phrase relevance and integrity. How does a search engine determine phrase relevance? Like a human, when it comes to content, a search engine must try to mimic a human. If a heading contains a search phrase repeated in a subheading and throughout text, then there's a reason to focus upon that phrase. It's probably the subject. Search phrase relevance increases if repeated in an image caption, title or description. Website structure analysis systems turn layout data into scored indexes. A website's hierarchy consists of its internal links, page titles, headings, descriptive data and sitemap. When these combine to form a consistent hierarchy, it tells search engines about subject in the same way a book title, table of contents, chapter headings, subheadings, captions and indexes tell a reader precisely what the book contains. A website with poor layout and blocks to search engine spiders can guarantee its search engine failure. Flash video, misplaced JavaScript and broken code represent only three of the many dangers. Consider it this way. Each human won the longest, hardest physical race. We are a product of the sperm that won that race. Winning top place in SERPs also involves higher performance and millions of competitors. Low quality website structure acts as a search engine contraceptive. Search phrase analysis systems turn searches people make into scored indexes. Imagine how many searches people carry out on the web every day. Starting every search afresh would be foolish. It would slow searches or increase need for expensive resources. People search on subjects in slightly different ways. By calculating what the majority do and adjusting search phrases accordingly, search engines return faster results relevant to what the searcher seeks. Humans will always find ways to overcome barriers. In the early days of the internet, 
website producers would fill their pages with a repeated common search phrase, it worked, until search engines clobbered websites that did it. Another trick during the early 2000s was using link farms to raise the prevalence rank of websites they linked to. Search engines clobbered them too. Search engines do not like tricks. They penalise. Social networking has risen as the latest fashionable trick. This trick uses the like of YouTube, Facebook and Twitter as backlinks. Recall the final words in the definition of marketing. Come back again. Scammed customers do not come back again. One day soon the social networking cheat will prove disastrous to search engine return rank. Websites that fail to offer something genuine to the worldwide information pool will always fail, in the same way failed marketing results in failed enterprise. Few doubt the internet will change. More devices will come along and impact how and what we search for. That means advertisers can grab us in more places. Where advertising opportunities go, so do search engines. So search engines adapt for small devices by rewarding smaller web pages that load quickly and penalising those that don't. New touchscreen technology will lead to in-page phrase lookup and indexes which enable viewers to navigate to precise parts of in-page, site-wide or multi-site content. After that, speech-efficient technology will allow verbal search. That's about the time search pages will appear on refrigerator doors because advertisers will want to be near someone asking for their lunch recipe. Same in cars, lifts, airports, banks, wherever we are. Website producers will need to deliver the way people use their minds and speak. When that happens, producers, like search engines, mimic how humans think. And when websites do that, they win against the websites that don't, and so rise to page one in Google. See you next episode.